August for starters this time. Yep. How energizing is is it, you know, to hear from from Ryan Zer and just the, the plans that he has for the season? Uh, yeah, definitely exciting. Um, there's no type of persona he puts on in in front of cameras or anything like that. What you see is what you get. You come out to a practice, you know, he's a intense leader, but he does it out of love and. For that reason, uh, definitely the kind of guy you want to play for. Bob Milner, person asked about the pitching staff and the guy who's catching them. What are your initial thoughts going into the season? Yeah, so uh, obviously we got a one heck of a staff this year, obviously led with uh, Corey Barton. He's, he's done a great job here thus far getting everybody together. Um, our main thing, we just need to stay healthy. We got the talent to do it. Um, we got guys that are going to have the longevity throughout the season. Obviously, it'll be big on our uh, training staff and just everybody being responsible for themselves to, uh, you know, just stay healthy throughout the year. Obviously, it being 56 games, your body's going to take a toll by the end of it. So, uh, How big is it for you, the fact that Corey's the pitching coach, but he was a catcher in college, actually played game, he was a catcher here, so he understands the verbiage when you're talking to him working as a pitcher? Yeah, definitely uh, going into games, I feel like we can, uh, we can get on the same page, kind of, I can – see what I'm seeing through uh, my perspective, and, and we can bounce ideas off of each other. But obviously I have to mention uh, Connor Manola, obviously played uh, under um, Skip at Southeastern, knows the um, what he's expecting. He's been a huge uh, mentor to me just with how to handle the staff, uh, just how Skip wants it. But, yeah, Barton's been a huge part, and obviously always nice to have somebody who's worn the gear to be the one that's in charge of you. Adjusting to uh, a new coach, um, obviously you had Coach Jackson mm -hmm. uh, had his year, and now you've got uh, Coach Reiser. How do you go about, you know, adjusting to a, to a new coach and, and making sure that your your teammates, uh, both new and old, are going to be be able to integrate and have a good first year? Yeah, I think as uh, Skip has mentioned, it it starts with trust, and trust is pretty easily gained whenever you uh, say what you mean and mean what you say. And, and Skip has done that per perfectly. He's, he holds everybody accountable. There hasn't been a promise he's made to us that he hadn't kept. So for that reason, it's, it's pretty easy to trust him and follow under him. To get guys uh, bought in in the locker room obviously does take the guys that, that have been here the longest to be bought in. We have a lot of freshmen who have learned some, some good, role, uh, good um, lessons thus far. Obviously, like every, everybody's been a freshman at some point. So you know, kind of latching on to somebody, an older guy in the locker room, that's that's been huge. But there's been no problem with buy-in at all. How excited are you go are you to go through the league this year? Because there'll be some familiar teams and a lot of new, a lot of new teams to play this year in the league. Yeah, no doubt. Uh, obviously, it'd be cool. I mean, the, the road's a great experience. Obviously, getting to see some of the coolest places in college baseball playing at the highest level. Um, and yeah, just to to continue to play some of the best competition. Um, that we can and, and a possibility to uh, better ourselves to play in a regional. Um, that's going to be a, a huge thing for us, obviously being a possible three to four bid league, depending on, you know, how everything shakes out. Uh, that, that's exactly where we want to be. We want to play those top teams, and we think we have the ability to compete with anybody. You think about that mindset that Coach Reiser had, just talk about we want to win a championship in year one. There is no waiting for, uh, you know, three or four years from now. Yeah, I mean, that's exactly what you want to hear as a player, especially with myself being a fifth year. Th this is it for me. I want a guy that's, that's willing to do whatever it takes right now. And he's exemplified that. Everybody has been bought into that thus far, and we'll see how it shakes out in the year. We'll, we're betting on the Tigers, I promise that. What are some of your personal expectations, especially as a fifth year senior, for you to feel like you have made the most, the most impact you could have had on the team this year? Oh uh, yeah, I, I think mainly that's uh, to lead by example. Um, obviously, I've been here. I've seen a lot of college baseball. I've seen college baseball played the right way, and I've I've seen college baseball played the wrong way. I mean, let's call it like it is. I mean, I've been a part of some good teams and a part of some bad teams, and to just make sure everybody understands the things that are needed to be one of those successful teams, and you know, really just try and coach other people on what not to do, I guess. You know, we've learned some lessons the hard way and just trying to make sure nobody else has to go through that as well.